dear students welcome to pw and i'm doc i'm dr shodesh kumar singh and here i am going to discuss the strategy or roadmap for gate 2027 for mechanical engineering so uh, i'm dr shodesh singh phd from iit delhi and uh, gold medalist in btech and i was ies officer for one and a half year during 2000 then i did my doctorate and i am teaching for gate and ies preparation since 2000 year 2000 so almost 26 years i am guiding students for preparing gate and engineering services so uh, this lecture a uh, short uh, lecture is for those students those who are presently in the second year and they are planning to attempt gate 2027 february okay na so let us focus on some of the key, key points so for mechanical engineering syllabus breakdown there is general aptitude 15 marks verbal ability grammar sentence completion uh, synonyms antonyms numerical ability and mathematics for 15 marks especially mathematics you know we will get a solid marks so we suggest that if you want to get very good rank this portion you should be thorough and we have some of the best teachers of mathematics at pw okay na and this basically if you have a uh, background of english you do generally you perform better in the, this particular section so anyway this around 30 marks is the non tech part and the 70 marks is the technical part so now now coming to the core mechanical subject that is around 72 marks <laughs> sometime mathematics 13 marks correct na so 70 that's how it becomes 72 marks core uh, mechanical engineering so generally mechanical engineering is uh, divided into three sections first section will be uh, strength of materials engineering mechanics theory of machine and machine design this is the first section uh, engineering mechanics so some of these uh, topics are there in engineering mechanics strength of materials theory of machine including vibration and the machine design and the second section is fluid mechanics heat transfer then thermodynamics and applied thermodynamics ic engines and rac this is the second section or you can say thermal related section and the third section is a manufacturing including materials and industrial engineering so from each section there is a equal weightage 72 divided by 3 so generally from this section production and industrial engineering material science around 25 marks question comes so each section <laughs> marks will be between 24 to 26 always it happens so first one section is a production material science and industrial second is a thermal section and the uh, so third one is basically theory of machine strength of material design like, like that part equal marks equal weightage within the section there may be variation for example sometime applied thermodynamics question comes and sometime basic thermodynamics question comes from production section every year around 18 to 20 marks comes from production including materials and around 5 to 6 marks question comes from industrial engineering of course uh, our pw faculty will coach you from time to time exactly which portion to focus for example presently some crash course is going on it's a free on youtube there we are focusing on gate 2026 what are the important topics because we teach close to 1300 hours mechanical and uh, mathematics and reasoning aptitude for the entire one year duration so uh, in the crash course we are selecting some of the important topics and giving to you for free so that even the person let us say some section he left out is still he he is able to make up and at least get 50% marks in gate so anyway these are the sections so now how you how you should prepare because presently you are in the second year and you are preparing for gate 2027 so exactly there is one year why i am saying one year because your syllabus is supposed to complete by october end presently we are in november so october end of syllabus should be complete 
November, December, January should be allocated for revisions. And we will be along with you. There will be crash course. There will be gate before grade. There, there are uh, super 15 net. There are many, many programs we launch in November, December, January for solid revision strategy. So in one year, what we should do, one year preparation strategy, there is a phase one. So let us have foundation first of all, because we are starting now. Complete engineering math plus basic concepts of core engineering. Because <clears throat> towards the end, if you do mathematics, it looks like a burden that I'm missing something. Mathematics also syllabus is more. So start mathematics from now onwards. Allocate daily three to four hours. Like our some of the regular batches are in the evening from 7 to 10 30, three and a half hours. So you attend live in half an hour. You should prepare short notes. I will give you that strategy, but be with the batch. <clears throat> and Sunday we have generally off. So in Sunday, you make up those subjects. Basically, uh, suppose you have to complete the short notes and uh, suppose some quiz we are giving or workbook we are giving, you work on that. So only three to, three to four hours initially. So first of all, you finish off engineering mathematics plus strength of materials because they are related actually. It's a highly mathematics and strength of materials. Tom plus engineering mechanics, fluid mechanics, heat transfer plus thermodynamics, power plant plus ice engines. So you take some combination and do it together. Then machine design and plus revision of some RAC and uh, applied thermodynamics because you will feel enthusiastic because there are two parallel topics and concept of one subject are used in another subject. That is the reason we are telling you to have this combination. Manufacturing process is the big subject. So you should take it as a standalone. Okay, now. Then industrial engineering. Industrial engineering is also a highly uh, numerical, uh, numerical oriented. Industrial engineering you should do when you are in the next semester. Okay, na? because generally in most of the engineering colleges, this course industrial engineering is there in three two and four one. Then full revision round one. Once all the syllabus is over, now you, there is a time for revision round. There will be there should be multiple revisions. Fall previous year question papers, 2008 to 2025, I recommend that minimum 15 years questions should be done PYQ. And we have a very, very beautiful book where um, within the subject, topic-wise questions are given. And uh, if suppose students is not able to uh, get anything, there are video solutions, there is a um, mark. So you can direct, it directly takes, it takes you to the video solution, okay? No? Then topic wise test and short notes. How to make the short notes? <coughs> As you are attending the regular classes, at the end of three and a half hour class, summarize the entire thing in a half page. You make you should have a hard bound copy for entire mechanical. Entire mechanical should fit into 100 pages. Hard bound, hard bound copy. And what I suggest, because all our PW teachers, they are basically student oriented. So whatever short tone you make, there are telegram channels. For example, I have Swadesh Sir PW, that telegram channel. You dump your short notes initially in the telegram channel. Let a teacher verify it. And then uh, you continue short notes. So whenever there is a free time, you keep on turning the pages of short note because there is a common problem a student faces. Suppose you are studying certain subject now. After three or four months, everything is gone. That's a, a regular complaint from students. But if you are having this strategy, turning the pages of short notes, regular interval, this thing will not happen. It's a very good strategy. Then uh, uh, in the phase three, there should be full length practice plus test. And you should devote approximately six to eight hours <laughs> daily. You should have a test practice, error logs, and fast revision. What is the error log? Suppose you have a notebook where you are keeping the short notes. Now, you are doing PYQ. You are appearing in test. You are solving the workbook. 
there are certain things there are certain things that where you are making the mistakes again and again how to rectify it so that should go to the short notes error log some student what they do from the beginning it's a short note from the end it's a error book it is very very important many many uh, rankers of pw those who are under 50 generally we pw insists them to meet and noida those who are under 50 or under 100 so many students share this that short note and error log help them to get their rank okay so please make it so full length mock test week uh, weekly test and analysis mock test diet revision 10 years pyq and quick, uh, quick notes <laughs> Initially, I told you 15 years, but last three months, you focus on 10 years PYQ, workbook, and test, these three things. What do's? That daily, weekly targets. What I tell my students, because those who are studying late night, their productivity is less. A student must sleep at least for six and a half hours. Sleep little early, let us say 11 o'clock you are sleeping, 10.30, let us say 10.30, 11 you are sleeping, 6 hours sleep, you get up at 5 o'clock. In the morning, after let us say, uh, wash your face, half an hour you should revise your short notes. I always say that one hour study in the morning is equal to the three hours study in the evening because evening uh, nothing goes uh, solid in our mind, morning it goes. Change your habit. Say that set the daily target that this much syllabus I have to finish it today. Or this much syllabus I have to finish it this week. So targets are required. PYQ based learning. So as I told you that our P PYQ book of PW, that's a barcode. If you are not able to uh, solve it, scan the barcode and see the solution. Again, do it after next uh, after one week or so. By repeatedly doing the concept will enter into your mind. Then short notes, make crisp one or two page notes per topic. Okay. No? Error book, maintain a log of repeated mistakes from the test. So, so hardbound notebook, in the beginning it is uh, short notes, from the back side it is error log. These things are must. Mock test rhythm, <laughs> generally what a student do, we start our mock test from the June approximately. and Mostly student till October, they don't do anything. They say, oh, every test I will do in November. No, that is not a good practice. Because we have object-wise test, topic-wise test. I understand the full-length test, one should attempt only in the November, December, January. November, December up to mid-January. But there are so many other tests. Test should not accumulate. I insist everyone, those who are serious about gate preparation, they should appear in regular test is starting from June or July. Taunts. Taunt delay revision. I will do tomorrow. Tomorrow. It, in Telugu, we call repu. Repu, repu. But repu doesn't come. Repu is a word in Telugu that tomorrow. That never comes. Revision should be as per schedule. Taunt skip engineering mathematics or general aptitude. Because some people say, oh, I don't know mathematics. Let us skip it. Are there are 15 marks now, 12 to 15 marks, you, you cannot escape. So do it in November, December when you are still in second year, because first year, second year, you study those mathematics, okay? Don't solve too many books, stick to standard books, PYQs and test series. I will attempt five different test series. For one subject, I will take the five different books. It is not required, you will be confused. The one book, the teacher is following and you are hearing them. That is best. And we insist, especially for production, you follow my notes. That is best. So with this, I wish you all the best. And in March 2027, I want to be with you at PW, uh, winning the trophy from us, getting a very good rank. Wish you all the best.